Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again today. Um, I got rid of the old camera because some people complained that it was making too much noise and I've ordered a new one. Today, however, I'm replacing the front seat mountings with swivel mounts on both the double swivel seat and the single swivel seat. Now, taking the seat off is extremely easy. Uh, with the exception of the small airbag wire lead, which I'll talk about later. Uh, there are lots of videos on YouTube about removing the seats, so I'm not going to duplicate them here. What I am going to do, though, is something that, um, well, something I couldn't find on YouTube that I thought might be helpful for people. Namely, the internal dimensions of the swivel seat base. Um, I want to put two leisure batteries into the swivel seat base and in order to do that, um, well, during planning I couldn't find anything that talked about the actual size of these openings and the size of the swivel seat uh, internals. So I couldn't really work out um, what kind of batteries or what kind of orientation to mount them in. So I'm going to put those dimensions on here in this video, um, hopefully so that it will be um, helpful to other people and um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. As you can see, there's loads of room inside the swivel seat bases um, and I think not only can I get two leisure batteries in there but I can also get my battery to battery charger and my mains battery charger in there as well and I'm really looking forward to trying that. And of course, I will produce a video about that as well, which might help people. Um, I'm just gonna pause it now while I actually um, get on and do those measurements. And then I will uh, reinstall the seat on the swivel base and show you the final, um, the final result. Uh, I certainly hope this will be useful to people. Uh, I know those measurements will be very useful for people. And um, yeah, I'll get on with that now. This is the uh, double swivel seat base that I purchased. It's by R&J um, Camper Conversions, or Camper Solutions, I'm sorry. There's a little, uh, little sign there. And um, it's extremely well packed. One of the things I, um, I'm very pleased to see is that they've actually included an extension lead for the airbag wire. And it's terminated on both ends by a little plug and socket. Now, I've already removed the socket from... Okay, so if you're one of those people that does have to remove this little yellow connector from um, your seat, if your swivel seat doesn't come with a, an extension cable like this one does, this little connector is a bit of a pain to get off and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just quickly what you need to do and to move my phone here so that you can see what's going on hopefully that is now this connector okay there she is she has uh, two crimp connectors inside two wires coming out and what you need to do is you need to be on this top surface here not the bottom, but the top. And you can see there's this little yellow catch here. Just lift that up slightly. And with a tiny screwdriver, you need just to push it into that hole there and push down quite lightly, not too hard, on the crimp connector that's inside. You can just see it there. It's little, two little silver crimp connectors. Just push down on that one there and gently pull out the wire and then do the same with the second one. Oh, my hands are shaking rather. On the second one, just there and push down on that one and pull it out. And to replace, just push them back in again, there's a little click and they go straight back in. Okay, there we go. Well, here we are, all done, all fitted. Um, the seat is slightly higher than before. I did a quick measurement and it works out at about 60 millimeters increase in height from the original seat height which isn't too bad it's not as high as i thought it was going to be 
um, 60 millimeters increase in height that's not too bad the seat itself the swivel I am so pleased with the swivel it is so easy to move around and um, you can see underneath that the extension lead plug system that they supply uh, works really well it uh, it's plenty long enough and it uh, plugs straight in to the existing connector so there's no problem at all with you having to remove those pins from the original connector now obviously in terms of putting electronics and batteries in the seat having this on here does uh, decrease the opening to the under seat area slightly and I'm going to do some measurements on that and see how much space I've got but the thing is you can drop a battery in at a slight angle alternately of course you can just take the thing off I mean the whole seat took me about 15-20 minutes to actually fit um, so I reckon I could get it off in about 15 minutes if I had to um, if I had to get into the battery compartment to remove anything that was too large um, removing the original seat and everything I think the whole thing has taken about an hour to do which is actually uh, really quick easy to fit R&J Camper Solutions I salute you it's wonderful the seat swivel is held in place by these knurled hand screws as is the case with many seat swivels um, there's eight of them which is probably a little overkill um, but they're really easy to turn with your hands they've got these big knurls on them which makes it e easy to turn uh, and there's four on each seat section base and four on that side there so that's eight in total very pleased indeed okay so I'm now putting the swivel on the um, driver's seat now unfortunately with this swivel from uh, RJ RJ Camper Solutions is that you do need to remove this um, little yellow plug from the end of the wire in order to pass the wire through the central bolt. Um, now these little plugs are a total pain in the neck. You can see here they've got this little plastic flip catch on the side there which you've got to release before you can pull the pins out now interestingly and I'll show you what I did with this so I can just get the camera in the right position is I inserted a very tiny screwdriver into this gap now this is slightly open you can see where that little catch goes into there um, and when you put the clip back you'll have to push that down into there but what I did is I got this tiny little Judas screwdriver and I wedged it in here and I forced this clip up. Um, the little pins, little connecting crimps, won't come out until you've actually forced that uh, clip upwards. Once you've done that, just push in, in these little um, holes here to just push down on the crimps slightly and you can pull the wires out. A bit of a pain actually because the gap when this is closed between here and here is very tiny so you've got to force your screwdriver in and like um, flip it up trying of course not to put too much force on it because you don't want to break it okay so welcome back um, both of the seat swivels are now in and interestingly you can swivel the driver's seat around um, once this one has been swiveled around so you are actually able to swivel both of them it's a little bit of a faff with this um, I actually found I had to open the driver's door to get it to go around um, but generally speaking yeah pretty damn good I'm pleased with that okay well that brings this segment of the video to an end thank you very much for watching I hope some of the information that I've supplied has been useful to you bye